Good morning friends. Welcome back to my channel Coding Environment. In last video we have seen what is a static array in any programming language like Java. This video will be the continuation of the last video where we are going to see what is dynamic array. We will also cover how dynamic array works in Java and what are the advantages of using a dynamic array over a static array. So without making any delay let's see what is dynamic array in Java. So what is dynamic array in Java? As the name suggests, dynamic array is a dynamic in nature. So the first characteristics of a dynamic array is it's dynamic in nature. It's dynamic in nature. So what do you mean by dynamic in nature? Dynamic in nature, it means that whenever we try to insert an element into an array and there is no space in the array, the array will grow dynamically. So let me give an example for this. Now suppose if I am initializing an array with a capacity of 5. So in this way I have a array with capacity 5. So its index starts from 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now suppose I am trying to insert an element after inserting five elements. So suppose I have already inserted five elements in it. Like let me insert it one, two, three, four, and five. Now, whenever I'm trying to insert element six here, you see there is no space in it, right? So what will happen? In the case of static array, you will get an array out of bound in exception. But in the case of dynamic array, what will happen is this, this particular array will grow dynamically. So how it will grow, we will see in some time. So we got this concept, right? Like whenever we try to insert an element into an array and the array capacity is already full, we will increase the capacity and insert the new element. In this case, we are inserting sixth element here. So how all this works in Java? So let me give an example that how dynamic array works in Java. So for this, So for this, what I have done is you can see I have already created two array here. This will help me to explain how dynamic array works in Java. Now, whenever we try to create a array list in Java, what we do? We give it like array list of some suppose a string and this is array and we are saying new array list and then say string like this right so whenever we give this statement or write this code into our program and whenever that program execution hit this particular line what it will do is it will create a array of default size 10 so this is the default size which will get created by Java whenever you try to create an empty array list and we don't provide the capacity here. In this, we can provide the capacity also like we want to create an array list of size 5 or 10 or 15. But if I don't provide anything here, the default capacity is 10. So now let me give you the default capacity. Default capacity is equal to 10. This happens in Java. Now, now how this capacity increases when all the position in this array is filled. Now suppose if I'm trying to fill this array with these numbers 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now suppose I'm trying to insert the 11th element into this array. So how this will happen? This will happen by increasing the capacity and copying each element of this array into the new array. So now you will ask me what is the capacity of the new array. In this case, this new capacity is equal to the old capacity into 3 by 2 which is nothing but old capacity into 1.5. So in this case, this new capacity will be 15. Now you, you see here, 
whenever we try to insert the this 11th element into this new array what will happen is it will copy all the elements from the old array to the new array and then it will insert the new element at the next position so all this will get filled with this old element first and this new element will get filled here so this way the dynamic array works in java first it will create a new array with the capacity which will be equal to the old capacity into 1.5 and then it will copy all the elements of the old array into the new array and then insert the new element here so this is the way array list works in java i have to show in figure let me show it here now whenever we're creating an array right whenever you're creating an array into into our java what it will do is it will create it will by default it will be zero it will not be zero by default it will be 10 here and you see here the moment you are inserting the first element into this array this this first element you can see it is inserted at the index zero right and the default capacity which is nothing but the 10 so this is the default capacity with which java creates a array list now the next topic what we had is what are the benefits of using a dynamic array over a static array. The one thing which we have is it grows dynamically. It grows dynamically. So here we don't have to define what is the size initially. Even if you don't know what is the size of the element with which you are going to play, you can create this array list. So this is all about your dynamic array list into Java. Hope you like this video. If you have any question, you can write it in the comment section. I will try to answer it. Till then, have a great day and goodbye.